security architecture. Please write. A robust security architecture. There is no nation that becomes great outside of a robust security architecture. When you call America a great nation, it is not just a great nation because of its citizens alone. It is because of the kind and the quality of security architecture that they have. Hallelujah. One of the ways or one of the basis for valuing a house is security. The kind of security architecture that was programmed in that house. Am I right on that? So when you say this house is $10 million versus this house is $1 million, many times it may not just be the neighborhood. It's because of the kind of security system that was put there. This is particularly for nations. Protecting lives and property is the number one assignment of government. Politically speaking now. Protecting lives and protecting the properties of a citizenry is the primary. Any government that fails to protect lives and fails to protect properties given ample time has truly failed. Number two, creating a secure environment will always stimulate growth and it will also bring foreign direct investment. This is true. Nobody will come and invest billions of dollars in any nation for that matter when they feel that their investments are not safe. It is the assignment of government in partnership with law enforcement agencies and of course by extension all citizens to see to it that their localities and their environment remain safe and conducive for growth, conducive for transformation, conducive for development. Hallelujah. I've had the honor of studying great nations. And one of the things that they say when they are attracting investors to their nation is they try to open them up to the kind of security architecture they have. Your data will be protected. Your ambassadors will be protected. Are we together now? Those who are coming to head the, the office, the national office of your company, your corporation will be protected. And even your finances will be protected. Security extends to the health of the financial institutions the health of the judiciary, the health of all the arms of government that are responsible for seeing to it that justice is meted out if and when necessary. No nation becomes great if your security system is porous. I say this with all due respect. I love my nation. I love my nation and I love my leaders. But every time I'm going to the airport, I feel it's like a weight on my chest because you see a long queue. What does it take to digitalize access into the airport? For instance, I say that as a personal concern. You go to several parts in Africa and you don't have to come out and be wasting. It's already programmed. You come there, deductions are made, the lift goes and you go in. But in Nigeria, you can miss a flight because someone is bringing change out of that room. And you remain there. Come on. What does it take for God's sake? Some of the people who have built those other nations are Nigerians. What does it take to create a system for God's sake? You get to the airport, you are almost confused sometimes. You don't know where to go to. You keep asking questions and moving around like you are mad. No, it ought not to be so. It ought not to be so. Something can happen. Security. There are nations where even terrorist groups have uniforms of some of the law enforcement agencies. How do you now trust the person who is standing on the road? Now, I'm not saying this thing, I'm a responsible citizen and we are all putting hands in gloves to, make, to bring a solution. But I'm telling you, any nation that desires to be great must pay attention and invest in building a robust non-politicized security architecture. Are we together? Yeah. That you can lie down and sleep and know that you can sleep in peace. When you hear the sound of a gun, you should know that it's either police or military, not an armed robber. You 
in the name of Jesus Christ investing we are here today by the privilege of God's grace you cannot be holding a meeting with these kinds of I submit to you God has given us the intelligence to build a very robust security architecture all you see is not all that there is I assure you I am committed to making sure that by the grace of God the horse is prepared for battle and safeties of the Lord but the horse must be responsible for battle you see the kind of investment we make in building a responsible security architecture because we love God and we're responsible people that when you sit down to hear the word of the Lord you should be you should know that you are safe so we outsource whatever it is within our power to build an intelligent security architecture ladies and gentlemen a nation that does not pay attention and I thank God for what God is doing I can tell you that by privileged information I can tell you that there is a real revival that is happening within the security architecture of this nation you take it from me and it is my prayer that by the grace of God that God will raise and build a robust security architecture that we know our airports are safe our ports are safe are we together now our airspace is safe our neighborhoods are safe you shouldn't leave your house and your heart is palpitating you're wondering if your children are safe I've had the opportunity to be part of a few violence cases in Nigeria and I, it's not a good thing for you to see that kind of thing. When in Joss, many years ago, the crisis that happened, I was right there. I was in town when it started. There was one time a post-election violence that happened in Zaria. I was right there. You do not want to live in an environment of crisis where there is killing. I lay me down and I slept. He says, I wait for the Lord sustain me. So nations become great because of their security architecture. Hallelujah. You pass around the White House, it's about the most protected building on earth. My goodness. The security architecture within that place is, 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 is almost godlike. The level of intelligence that was invested. Maybe this is a revelation for someone that God is saying becoming a security architect our expert is your destiny start now while you are receiving the grace don't just shout amen trust God for grace security doors security outfits you become a security consultant go and receive certifications and trust God for grace you are a security expert I can tell you it's a job that will be needed forever as far as our civilization is concerned let me give you number seven This is my happy independence gift. 